Hey guys, Frank Cox here, Smoke and Builder. Hey, on today's podcast, we're going to answer a question I was recently asked on a live Q&A session that we hold every month. The question was, where do I get my insulation for fireboxes and stuff like this here? So anyway, but before we get into answering, if you're watching the video, I want to invite you to join us on one of those sessions. There's a link in the description on this video. If you click that, it'll take you to a sign-up form on smokerplans.net. And if you fill out that form and hit submit, I'll put you on the list where I send that link to. So you can join us and I'll answer your question live. And it might even be featured on one of these podcasts. So anyway, enjoy the video and let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Appreciate you. You're listening to the Pitmaster Secrets Podcast. So the insulation that we actually use, you can get on a website called bbqsmokersupply.com. Um, it's, there's two different brands. Okay, there's Roxul, R-O-X-U-L. The other uh, brand is, oh, freak, now I got to think of it. Doggone it. I don't remember, but it'll come up. Uh, Rockwool, that's the brand, R-O-C-K-W-O-O-L. So there's, there's, so you can use mineral wool, which is, is also known as fire rated bats. You can get that at any hardware store in the nation. It's required for like uh, acoustic ceilings in uh, like uh, egresses and buildings, like hallways and stuff, like anywhere they got insulation in a drop ceiling, they have to have it. So every lumber yard has that, but it's bat insulation that's like three and a half inches or six inches thick, depending on the application. So they don't have paper on it and it's got a fire rating because it's, it's not fiberglass. It looks just like it, but it's not fiberglass. It's called mineral wool. So rock wool is the company that makes that. And it's actually a volcanic like rock that they melt somehow and make strands out of it. Okay. So that same material and that same process makes Roxel or Rockwool boards. And they're literally like an inch and a half that you can get them one inch up to like three inches thick. And they're rigid. They usually come in two foot by four foot pieces. Or if you get the one inch thick, you can get four foot by eight foot pieces. My favorite is the inch and a half thick, uh, two foot by four foot sheets, because it's the best fit for fire, for uh, fire boxes, I think. Um, it's rigid and you cut it with a utility knife and the benefit to that, you can use the, 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 the regular mineral wool, but it'll sag over time. You know, you'll get some weirdness if it gets moist and stuff like that, but the rock wool doesn't sag. It doesn't, uh, the rocks old brand, it doesn't like uh, sag. It, it stays in place. It could get wet, but it doesn't, it doesn't like hurt it. You know, it just boils out. Um, we've been using that for 10 years. Um, you can get it at commercial insulation suppliers. Also, they use it as an acoustic insulation. So like if you're in a cathedral or a church or something like that, if you look up, you'll see these mats that are like material, like, you know, cloth that are like two foot by four foot sheets or four foot by four foot, whatever. That's actually that same insulation that's wrapped in, 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 in like material that's like screwed up. Um, so they're also called acoustic bats, but they've got a high fire rating of like 2,100 degrees and uh, whatever. But you can get that at bbqsmokersupply.com. Justin, that's my buddy out there. He'll ship that to you in like uh, a bundle. It's seven sheets per bundle that are two foot by four foot and inch and a half thick. Um, Tom, my, my buddy, Tom at Smoker Builder Manufacturing, uh, he stocks it. Um, he uses it. He doesn't have it for sale on the internet anymore, but if you message him at, uh, Smoker Builder MFG on Facebook, he'll probably hook you up. Um, okay. and, uh, you can also go to their website, Roxul, R-O-X-U-L or Rock Wool and look for that product. Um, the actual part number for the Roxel is RHT-80. And uh, you can get that. You can actually find suppliers. They're all over the country. Bay Insulation is a big one in the Midwest. Um, they do have a wholesale program if you build a lot. Like if you can buy a pallet, you know, 
or you can buy it at retail. It's about that stuff didn't go up like crazy with with COVID. It's about a dollar seventy four something like that a square foot um, on uh, uh, retail. It was. It might be close to two bucks now, but it wasn't bad. The mineral wool bats are super cheap. You can get them at Menards, Lowe's, local places like uh, uh, Meeks Lumber is here in Midwest, um, something like that. Um, if you compress it, it doesn't work. You have to leave it the thickness. So that's the be- that's the downside to having uh, bat insulation. Fiberglass will melt. That's why we use mineral wool. Now there's another kind of insulation that's, this stuff is like amazing. It's like high dollar stuff though. A lot of guys use it that put like auto body paint jobs on. It's called K-O wool, K-A-O wool. And uh, it's a ceramic insulation. It's white. Um, we used it in the food equipment industry, like, cause I had a refrigeration food equipment business for 25 years. And so anytime we were working on like steam cabinets or boilers or any kind of thing, like a fryer, for instance, that's what that gasket material is made out of that when you put a fry pot in a fryer or something like that, that you got a gasket for airflow. That's what they use. It's like freaking 6,000 degrees or something. That stuff is um, rated for. Um, I'm trying to think who uses it. Uh, you can tell because it's white. I don't really know who uses it anymore, but Roxel is much more affordable and it's 2,100 degrees. So it's fine. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pitmaster Secrets podcast. Uh, once again, I'm Frank Cox. I'm a founder of Smoker Builder. And uh, what I want to do is extend an invitation to you. If you're looking to get your smoker started, building your first one or your next one, if you have any questions or I can be of any assistance at all, please click the link in this description or just simply type in smokerbuilder.com. That will take you to my website. And on that website, I'm going to get you started on whatever information you need to help you get your build build done faster and easier than you can imagine. So anyway, go to smokerbuilder.com. Also join in our community. And if you found this episode valuable, please like and share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. So anyway, I appreciate you. Until next time, keep your smoke thin and blue and uh, we'll see you later.